Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we're taking a look at the benchmarking results of the Dell XPS 15 9510 laptop. This came with a 15.6 OLED touch screen, one terabyte SSD, the i7-11800H processor, and an RTX 3050 Ti GPU. Um, it also came with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Let's get right into it. This laptop has a built-in 720p camera, which is okay for Zoom calls and uh, other conferencing call apps. Um, let's do some typing here. Not sure if you can hear that or not. I'll find out on the playback. But uh, it's decent. I was hoping for a 1080p uh, due to the cost of the laptop, but uh, this will suffice. Using our Spider X Pro, we tested out the screen here, which again is a uh, 4K screen touch. And we got 100% of sRGB. We got 96% of Adobe RGB. And then we got 100% of P3. That's pretty good. User benchmark scores this PC above expectations within the 81st percentile. This means that out of 100 PCs with the same exact components, 19 performed better. The overall PC percentile is the average of each of its individual components. You'll know, notice here that the component that scored very low was the graphics card. And that is not referencing the RTX 3050 Ti dedicated graphics card. It's the uh, internal Intel UHD graphics. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna scroll through the rest of the component scores here and then we'll move on. Deep bench score, uh, open CL score was 61,512. Uh, we used Geekbench 5.4.1 for Windows 64-bit. Uh, we'll scroll through here and get the rest of the scores and then move on. Our Cinebench R23 scores, CPU multi-core score was 10,173 points. Our CPU single core score was 1,515 points. Not bad. So we did run 3D Mark on this laptop and we started out with Time Spy. Our graphics score came out with 4,675. Our CPU score was 6,202. And uh, like again, that was with Time Spy. Our Fire Strike score was, graphics score was 12,240, physics score was 14,400, and our combined score was 4,695. Overall score was 10,753. It's not bad. So we did test out a number of internal benchmarking. Uh, tools within uh, some games that we frequently play, Shadow of the Tomb Raider being one of them, Red Dead Redemption, one of our uh, new games that just recently came out, New World, that I'm absolutely loving, and then Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we were running here at medium settings, and we were getting around 35 to 42 FPS on average, which is playable. Uh, but we'll run through uh, a couple games and throw up our benchmarking spreadsheet. So we'll do that now. Okay, so right now I am playing one of the more popular games out right now called New World. I have it on medium settings and I'm running um, around High 48 to 60 FPS, just kind of depending on where I'm at um, and what has to render here as far as while I'm moving. But it's pretty consistent here and it is definitely um, playable. So um, that's great.
So we used the Red Dead Redemption internal benchmarking tool and we were getting around, I'd say, 48 to 60 uh, FPS on average. Uh, and that was on medium settings. We're gonna throw up the uh, spreadsheet here and I'm just gonna show you the medium and low FPS scores for uh, Red Dead, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Horizon Zero Dawn. I, I'm not going to bother with High and Ultra just because the games were unplayable uh, at those particular settings. Uh, this is not a gaming laptop, so but you can play uh, games, just not at ultra and high settings for some. So just keep that in mind. So here's our spreadsheet for the Dell XPS 15. Uh, 9510 series and um, you'll notice here that we only benchmark low and medium settings on each of these games Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Red Dead Redemption, and Rise of Zero Dawn and I also want to mention too that VBS was disabled when we did these benchmarks and VBS it's been reported has been enabled um, on Windows 11 machines, not all of them, but uh, periodically you will hear uh, some complaints about that being enabled uh, automatically for some odd reason. Anyway, for Shadow of the Tomb Raider, uh, on low settings, the average was 41 FPS, high was 60, and low was 33. On medium settings, average was 29, high was 39, and low was 25 FPS. Red Dead Redemption, low settings, High was 76, average was 55 FPS, and low was 29. And then on the medium settings for Red Dead Redemption, you have a high of 72 FPS, average was 57, and low was 30. Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, on low settings, the high FPS was 71, average was 38, and then low was 18. And then for medium settings for Horizon Zero Dawn, we got a 69 FPS as the high and average was around 38 FPS and the low was 21 FPS. So like I said before, this is not essentially a gaming laptop. It's I could see it mostly used in a business setting. A student would have it, it's for school, or it could be for content creators for sure. Um, I think it would be fantastic, especially with this screen and the full SD card slot. Um, that would make this uh, machine fantastic for content creators. Anyway, there it is. The Dell XPS 159510. This is a fantastic laptop. It's light, it's thin, uh, very unassuming. I like the look of it. The silver chrome look around the edges here is fantastic. Um, this would be great in an office setting. It would be fantastic for uh, if a student had this laptop. There's a lot of power under the hood here. Uh, even for a content creator with its 4K UHD screen and full-size uh, SD slot. And then you have the opportunity for upgrading the extra um, SSD slot and the memory can be upgraded. Uh, so that is fantastic. It gives it some longevity. So that's a thumbs up. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more tech videos by Tech by Pike, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. It helps the channel. And not only that, it gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And it also gives us an opportunity to grow uh, as we go along and get better at what we're doing and we appreciate that opportunity as well. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next one.